Yeah, the weather's changing. Did you see that front? The, those clouds? Yeah, it's going to be cooler. Pretty soon it will be cold. I spent a great deal of time checking all the candidates running next month for the election. There's more than just presidential. Missouri has uh, like the state senate, representative, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, blah blah blah. So they've got people in the different parties. Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, Green Party, and Independent Constitutional Party. And so I was looking up online to see what they represent, what they stand for, the issues they are, that are important to them, etc., etc. You know, how pro-life they are, how pro-gun they are. There are certain issues that I am not a fan of. So when I found the things that I liked, I put a yellow highlight mark through the name, so that's the ones I'm voting for. And I did this so I could find out all the information for my mom, but for myself as well. Talked to Scott, he wants me to arrange an absentee ballot for him. He's still a U.S. citizen, he's living in Canada presently. So, I'm going to try to do that later today on Monday. It's wee hours of the morning and I still have sleep issues. Sunday I was pretty much out of it all day because it was real gray and overcast. That seasonal affective disorder, yeah, that's a real thing. It's a real thing. I don't think I could live in the Nordic countries. I have distant relatives in Sweden, but I don't think I could live there because it's overcast, gray, and has winter for half the year. So I, I don't know. I, I don't think I could manage that. I would be too depressed. I, I really get affected by things, period. Not just the weather, as everyone knows. What else was I going to say? I asked Scott, is there anything specific you, that I can bring up to Canada? He says, well, you got to dress in layers. I said, okay. And he couldn't emphasize that enough. It's going to snow the day before I get there. Yeah. And he said, Marley wants toasted ravioli. And St. Louis has a, a thing called toasted ravioli. And if you've never had it, and you get the chance to try it, please do, because it's really good. They're ravioli, and they're breaded and, and fried. And then you put spaghetti sauce on them, or you dip them in it. <clears throat> really, really yummy appetizer -y thing. That and what else did she want me to bring? Oh, Scott wants local, a local made beer, and I don't think I can take that. But I'm going to try to call, find out if I can arrange to have some ship to him. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I guess I'll find out. I, on Saturday at the Italian speaking meetup, one of the girls, ladies, that attends is a legal secretary, so I asked her some questions, got some answers that were good for my case, and I have to check online to see something, and apparently you can only check Monday through Friday, so I'll be doing that today as well. Hopefully I won't even have to go to court, so... It all depends. I probably won't be able to find the information, but from what I've heard, I won't have to. We'll see. Tomorrow will be Tuesday, and I don't know what will be happening. A lot of organizational stuff around here. Cleaning, straightening, and organizing. And yeah, usual stuff that never gets done. Upward and onward. Okay, you can turn off now. <laughs>